you know? Like I dated this girl one time, she was like really into like women's issues. So we used to always have these dumbass arguments. Like one time she came up to me and she goes, okay, explain this to me, Bill. Why does a guy make more an hour to do the exact same job, huh? Hmm? Hmm? I go, I'll tell you why. Because in the unlikely event that we're both on a Titanic and it starts to sink, for some fucked up reason, you get to leave with the kids and I have to stay. Yeah, that's why I get the dollar more an hour. No, think about it. If there's a house fire, it's always women and children first. I got to stand there with like the back of my shirt on fire going, let's go people, let's go, let's go. So that's how I look at it. No, it's a dollar an hour surcharge. That if something fucked up happens, either I can't leave or I got to like get in the way of it to give you a head start. Like grab a dog, run honey, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. You hear a bump in the night, I got to go check it out. Like, yes, he does have a knife. Anytime there's a hostage situation, who do they negotiate for first? Well, at least let the women and children go. Well, what about me? <laughs> Bullets hurt me too. Why the fuck do I gotta stay in the vault? <laughs> no, that's my point, man. Where are all the feminists in those situations? You know what I mean? You can't find them. There are no feminists in a house fire. That's a, that's a guarantee. You could take the most hardcore feminist, some chick right in your face, like, you chauvinistic son of a bitch. Little short little haircut, the whole nine yards, right? <laughs> Second those flames break out, she's going to twist those little hairs into pigtails. No, I'm just a girl. I want to go play jump rope. And leave you standing in a burning house like you're not flammable. <laughs> you know, but I'm not, I'm not a dick, though. I'm not, I'm not saying I think a woman should make a doll less an hour to do the same job. All I'm saying is if you're going to make what I make when the boat sinks, you better be standing right there next to me, listening to that guy play the cello. <laughs> then you get the corner office. You get all the benefits or whatever. I don't know. You know what? I just find women that just like, uh, I think they're great. I don't want this to come off like, I don't want to come off here like I'm some woman here because, you know. I know I'm a psycho, but it's just like, I don't know, I just find them to be like relentless. Just every day, they, they just, they just got to come at you. They just wake up, they have an agenda, and so they're like these psycho robots that never run out of batteries, and every day they just keep, <laughs> just keep coming at you. Right? You got to deal with that every single day. Hey, honey, you want to And you literally, you know, every day, it's, it's like waves hitting the beach, you know? Every day, just eroding a little more of your life away, you know? Just waking up inch by inch, right? every day just... <laughs> Why are you hanging out with him? He drinks too much. <laughs> Where'd you buy that? That's ugly. Throw it out. <laughs> so one day you're just hanging out in the middle of a lagoon, just floating there with your baseball cards. You're waving to your friends back on the shore. Don't get me tickets. I still like sports. <laughs> oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Hey, honey, how you doing? No, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to learn how to, how to pick my battles with my girl, you know? That's what I am, you know? I used to argue all the time. I'm just trying to pick the battles. Some days, they, they come at you. You just, you just gotta let them go. You just let them go and follow them to whatever dumb you want to do. Hey, let's go get a picnic. We'll have a picnic. You bring the good bank and you... <laughs> then other days, you just, you just gotta get your hand up. You just gotta... Just create this perimeter or something for them to bounce off like... <laughs> You just send that psycho energy in another direction. <laughs> Buy yourself a couple of hours for freedom before they bounce off something else. Gang, 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 they stop coming back. Go see my parents. <laughs> no, they're relentless. They never stop. And there's no reason for them to stop. You know why? Because you can't hit them. <laughs> That's what it is. Think about that. There's no physical ramifications for being an ass when you're a woman. Do you know how much, of a, how much of a dick I would be if it was socially unacceptable to kick the out of me? Dude, I would be trashing everybody I saw. See some big muscle bomb guy, hey, I go to the gym. Slap his protein shake out of me. Hey, I go to the right? But I 
can't do that, right? Every guy has a line, and if I cross the line, I get blasted in the face. Totally acceptable, right? But with women, there's no line. They can just keep, just keep coming at you. Dude, they can do stuff worthy of like a suplex, and they'll just stand right next to it. They don't even have the decency to run away. They like light your clothes on fire. They're like, ta-da, I did that. I stuck around to see your reaction. I invited a couple of friends to heckle you as you try to stomp it out with your bare feet. Oh yeah, they'll like key your car, sign their name, Susan did this sh and You're sitting like, now can I at least put her in a headlock, give her a couple of... Now, I feel bad for women that you, you never get to feel that. You guys should, should do it to each other, you know, just every once in a while. Just haul off and just blast one of your friends in the face, you know? It's good for you.